Hello parents, this is a video to show methods you can use for subtraction with your year one child. Um, it's worth noting that in the autumn term, we focus on subtracting with numbers to 10. In the spring term, we move on to numbers to 20. And then in the summer term, numbers to 100. But our focus is really only on subtracting one digit numbers from the two digit numbers here. Um, so to start off, we have our part part whole model, which um, you might have seen before. So with subtraction, children will have the whole, say the whole is 10 and the part is four and we will need to find the other missing part. And this is kind of how we introduce subtraction. And the children will start at 10, we put 10 in our heads and count back four to find the missing part. So this is a way to represent the thinking that is going on with this. Um, we also use tens frames. So for numbers to 10, we will say if we're doing seven take away three, we will draw seven counters or we might use counters. Um, and then we are taking away three. So it's very visual for them to see. If they're using actual counters, they will take three of them off the tens frame. Or if we're drawing them, we will cross out three counters and then they can count how many are left. Um, we do the same thing uh, with numbers to 20 as well. Um, although when we do this, say we're doing 14 take away six. So we have our 14 counters as 10 and four more. Um, and children will begin to reason that we know that we can take away the four and have 10 left. And then we just need to take away two more from 10. Um, and we do this just to help them understand more what is going on and the idea of 10 as a, a boundary and crossing 10. We um, also use a number line for subtraction. So if we were doing nine take away three, we would see that we're starting with nine. So we would circle where we start. We're taking away three. So we do three jumps backwards. So we do one, two, three. And I always ask the children to underline where they end up so they can see that if we take away three from nine, we get six. Um, and just like we did with the tens frame, we can use the number line to show crossing the barrier of 10. So if I do 14 take away six again, they circle 14 because that's where they're starting. But we begin to talk about knowing that we'll have to take away four to get to 10 and then we'll have to take away two more. So instead of doing the individual jumps, we do a jump of four to get to the 10, and then a jump of two more to get to the eight. With subtraction, we also talk about finding the difference. So this is where we use um, bar models like this to find the difference between two numbers. And we talk about the difference being what's missing or how many more you'd need. Um, so it's still subtraction. It's just a slightly different way to view it. So here we have seven and three. So we're finding the difference between seven and three. And they see how many are missing or how many that are in the gap. And they'd count um, one, two, three, four. We also talk a bit about partners. So which ones don't have a partner? We can see these have a partner and four don't. So seven take away three is four. Um, when using these at home, when children are drawing bar models, um, if they're going to draw precise ones like this, where we have the individual amount of cubes, which is what they should start off with, um, it's best to use squared paper so they can see what lines up and what matches up. 
Um, as they get more confident in this, we can begin using bars to represent an amount without having them sectioned into that amount. So we do something like this. Um, but this is only once they understand this idea. Here we have our Dean's base 10. So we have long sticks like this, which represent 10. And these little ones, which represent 1. Um, and these are really useful for subtraction with bigger numbers. And they're kind of the basis of column subtraction, which children will move on to in year two. So if we were to do 17 take away 4, a child could draw the 10 and then seven ones. To represent the 17 and then we're taking away four and the child needs to understand that we're taking away four ones. That's four ones. So we'd cross out four of the ones. And then they can see that we have one 10 and three ones left, which is then 13. And obviously this can also be used for bigger numbers. For example, if you were to do 35 take away two, we would have three of our tens for the 30 and five ones. And again, the children need to understand that when we're taking away two, that's two ones. That's not two tens. They would take away two ones and then they could count what is left, counting the tens and then counting the ones. Um, similarly to this, we have place value counters. So uh, if we did 16 take away three, go back to my black pen. Uh, they could say that 16 is a 10 and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 of our 1s and then see that we're taking away 3 1s so they'd cross out 3 1s um, and see that we're left with 1 10 and 3 1s which is 13 and again like I've done here these can be done drawing on paper but you can also use the physical objects as well. So I hope this has been helpful in showing you how we subtract in year one. Thank you.